All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick's Bank the Power. So you guys have been begging for a video on the Corvette, so I thought it'd be a cool thing to put on this channel. So for those of you who don't know, those of you that follow me on Instagram probably do know, I recently bought a 1977 Corvette. Um, so it's a C3. I love the Stingray style of body on the Corvettes. Um, so I finally, I've been wanting one forever, and I finally had enough money to get one. So I was like, man, fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Vet. So I got it. It's an awesome condition. I'm in love with it. I drive it every day. Um, even though I probably shouldn't be putting the miles on it, but I drive it to the gym and back pretty much. I'm probably not going to ever uh, take it on the highway or anything. But for those of you guys that wanted a tour of the VET, this is what this video is going to be. I'm going to show you guys the outside, the inside, and the motor for those of you that are interested. Um, and thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. It's been a great week. You guys have shown a lot of support this week. So thank you guys. All right, guys, so I'm just going to kind of voice this over like I would any other video, give you guys some information about the car. Um, so a little background. Some of you guys know that I've always loved Corvettes. If you followed my channel for a while, I think I've talked about it in a couple past videos. So finally, I pulled the trigger and got one. I was looking on Craigslist, and I came across this one right here. The color is actually like a deep navy blue. I know it looks kind of black in the video, um, and I actually thought it was black when I saw it on Craigslist. Um, but when I... Uh, when I finally showed up to look at it in person, it's, it's actually a uh, nice navy blue. So blue is actually my favorite color, so it worked out pretty good. So here I'll put on the hydraulic lights for you guys. <laughs> the headlights look kind of goofy. I think they mess up the flow of the car, so I try to only drive in the daytime because I like to keep those headlights down. Um, but overall, I'm just going to give you guys, first I'll give you a 360 view of the car. Just go all the way around it. The paint is in very good condition. It's a 1977 Corvette C3. Um, I've just always loved the Stingray style of Corvette. I just think the shape is absolutely beautiful. Um, I said in my Instagram post about it that I think I, I think I should have been born in the 70s because I think everything in the 70s is just you know really the ideal 70s bodybuilding, the golden era, and 70s Corvettes, man, are just the coolest looking Corvettes. Um, like the 68 Corvette, that's a pretty badass looking Stingray too, but overall I just love the look of the 70s Corvettes and some of the late 60s, um, and I think the same applies to bodybuilding. Um, so a lot of people just wanted to see a 360 of the car. But yeah, I just waxed it today, or the other day, since you're watching this, not the same day that I filmed it, uh, but I just waxed it. Uh, I did a layer of cleaner wax, and then I put a layer of regular wax, and then I washed it, so it's looking pretty shiny right now. There's no major defects in the paint which is pretty surprising for a car this old again 77 it's 2017 so this is a 40 year old car um and we took it to have it looked at at a car dealership and they actually said this is one of the best condition 77 cars they've seen um and that they said that i should go ahead and pull the trigger on it they looked at it they said there's not a lot of rust on anything underneath there's not any major problems with it so here's the interior um, it's nice blue leather. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the interior is nice and blue. It's kind of a royal blue color. The leather is in excellent condition. Um, like I said, for a 40-year-old car, the interior of this is just super clean. One of the things that I didn't expect, though, <laughs> is that it doesn't have cup holders. So me being as young as I am, I've never been in a car that didn't have cup holders. But back in the 70s, that pretty much was standard. So it's got a typical um, cassette tape player in it. All the trim looks real nice on the doors. It actually has power windows, which is actually very surprising for a car this old. So power windows is definitely a good thing. It's got air conditioning. Um, it is an automatic transmission, so it's not a manual. I actually don't know how to drive a stick shift, so I did have to get an automatic. I, I'm just not old enough to have learned to, uh, to have driven a manual. I've never driven one, and I've never had one. So this would be... That would be kind of a pain to buy a Corvette and have to learn how to drive it. I wanted to just get this thing, hop in it, drive it right away. So that's why I got the automatic. It's got some speakers in the back. I don't know if you can see those very well. Someone added in some custom speakers. It's nothing on it is nothing on it's really dirty. Everything's pretty clean. So here's a quick shot of the engine. I know it's kind of dark. I'm just revving it up for you guys. It's a 350. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like kind of these little vlogging style videos where I show you a little bit about my life. And if you did enjoy it and you do like the car, please give the video a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching.